Hey, it's me, it's Jeff, and let's look at chord voicings in the key of E. For more of the theory and thought behind these chord voicings, take a look at the uh, G chord voicing video and the C chord voicing videos, and you'll kind of be like, oh, I see what's going on. Tight, tight. Uh, e, major, delicious. Let us uh, imagine the chords we'll be learning today, which is going to be E, A, C sharp minor, and B. One, four, six, five. Probably broke my own rules right there. All right, now. Zero, two, two, one, zero, zero. We've got the stock E chord. For A, we're going to play A2. Are you noticing a pattern with the four chord? It's going to be either two or major seven. The, uh, the tonality of it. Certainly always major. Alright, uh, so we have E to A2. Okay, uh, let's toss some fills in there. We got E suspended. So your pinky can go 2 1, 2 0, 2 0. And then, oh. Yeah, that's, uh, that's an E2. So that would be your uh, pinky on. Fourth fret of the D string, making that an F sharp. I mean, that's delicious. Uh, e. Now let's take a look at A. A lot of the same stuff. And then, you know, a little tougher one to work in there for the novice. But you have these. Alright, hold on, I gotta answer this phone call. Hey, what's up? And we keep E, and I did E, and I did A. So let's go to C sharp. E, A. C sharp is going to be X, 4, 6, 6, 0, 0. So on, on, for the E voicings, we're going to have the E strings. This is so hard to do. I'm gonna have the E string and B string ring out kind of indefinitely. It's gonna be sick. Uh, so that that kind of looks like a, like a DS. For B, we're just gonna drop all this down, giving us an indefinite B suspended, which is like you need to understand that that's yeah. If you don't understand what that means, then honestly you don't need to understand it. But just yeah. There you go. Um, four is the new five anyway, you don't need it. Um, with the C sharp minor, you could put your uh, middle finger right there. And then that would be doubling the E. Yeah, that's a choice. Uh, we have... some fills that are nice. It's a C sharp minor. You have to abandon the root. And on the other one too. So, um, you know, that's not the worst thing in the world. There's another way to do all this E stuff, okay? Let's go up the neck. Zero, seven, nine, nine, zero, zero. Cool. That's like the B in C sharp. We just moved up the neck. And now, seven, nine, nine, Eight zero zero. So if E B move this down for A. The C sharp minor. You're just gonna take your middle finger, put it on the ninth fret. Keep these other two the same. Voicings, you can play all your favorite songs, uh, like Alright, we didn't cover that chord, it's a, uh, that's an E over
over G sharp. Now, uh, on that track, I believe it's a G sharp minor, but um, let's be serious, nobody wants to hear that D sharp. Yeah, there's some practical stuff. And then uh, you've heard switch foot, they've got some nice fills here. So this is uh, over E. It's on seven zero seven zero. And you also have nine zero that you can do a nine zero. So create all sorts of deliciousness. Is that right? Okay. doubles as an A. Yeah. So E is, e is a nice flexible key where you, you can, you know, do this. And after that, you can change the texture. Um, that reminds me of a song at the... Play the two chords, so I gotta show that to you. E. We're gonna play F sharp minor. And we're gonna borrow that shape from the key of A. But it's 2x4200. Zero, zero. Just keeping those back strings ringing out. It's a beautiful night. Thanks for listening. I hope you guys are doing good.